We're in Honolulu. I am in Honolulu. I am so excited to be here. I was supposed to be in Philadelphia, but I traded onto this trip. Mostly so, well, I mean, I would much rather come to Hawaii than Philly, no offense, but mostly the reason why I traded onto this trip is because I wanted to get back earlier tomorrow. Uh, I am actually going to see, I was gonna say guess, but I'm sure by the title and the thumbnail, you already know, but I'm going to see one of my favorite people, Heather, right after this trip ends. And so my trip to Philadelphia got me in really late. And so I wanted to be back earlier so I could just like leave straight from the airport and fly to Texas to go see her. So I traded on to this trip. I'm super excited to be here. I have about 17 hours. I am going to change and just hit the ground running. You guys know when I'm here, I like to go on my long walk. I always go to Foodland and get some snacks and some treats. So I'm gonna do that so I can bring some to Heather tomorrow. But I am just gonna have a sweet little layover. And tomorrow we're gonna go to Texas and see Heather. fish tacos for dinner. Let's go. from all my endeavors. This, this worked better in my head, hold on. I had a really chill day. It was so windy today. I have been having the worst allergies today. I do not know what happened. About like an hour and a half left of flying today, I just started uncontrollably sneezing. And I feel fine, like I'm not sick or anything. I just am having the worst allergies which is truly just the absolute worst but anyways why was i saying that <laughs> anyways my day it was cute it was fun it is so windy here that stuff was flying everywhere it was just it was so so windy so unfortunately i didn't get to go to the beach but i still got some really good pool time i read a bunch and then I came back and took a long walk to get some of my favorite fish tacos. I was like, I need something just really, really good for dinner. And I was like, I just have had fish tacos. So I went and I got those. And then I walked to the mall, got my groceries that I just put away. I literally just walked my happy little butt into the grocery store, did my cute little routine, got my favorite things went to the bakery and now I'm back. Joseph and I went into Lush the other day, which I haven't been into a Lush in years. I was so overwhelmed trying to pick a bath bomb. I was like, I am going on my Hawaii layover and I know that there's a big tub here. So I told my husband, I was like, pick me out any bath bomb. And I was like, oh, I used to love this one. Oh, that one's glittery. Like I was trying to like, you know, give him some hints. This man picked out the sex bath bomb. Of course, he picked out the sex one. I am gonna take a bath and read and just have a nice, nice, nice relaxing night.
good morning. It is 5.46. I was going to say it's a bright and early morning, but it's literally pitch black outside. I have pickup in about 25 minutes, but I'm going to head downstairs early and hopefully get some coffee. They open up right at 6 and my pickup is 6.15, so cutting it close, but I have to have my coffee to function. I just have one flight today from Honolulu to Los Angeles. And then as soon as I land in Los Angeles, I am gonna run my little Heine over to the Dallas-Fort Worth flight. And I am going to non-rev from LA to Dallas and then Dallas to Tyler, Texas and spend the next few days with Heather. This is my last trip for February, closing out the month of flying. I had a really good month of flying, some really cute layovers. But for now, let's go get some coffee and go fly to Los Angeles. And then Texas. It's going to be a very, very, very long day of flying. Look whose house I'm at. I made it to Heather's house. I've been here for a day, but we kind of just hung out yesterday and we went to the bookstore yesterday and tried to take cute pictures. We looked <laughs> awful. It was so bad. It was really funny though because of how atrocious the photos were. Oh look, Phineas. Ben, say hi. But we're gonna go back to the bookstore because Heather found this like blind date with a book that she posted and everybody was like, you need to go get it. It was so, like 50 Shades of Grey meets iRobot, whatever that means. <laughs> we're gonna find out. But we're gonna go back to the bookstore, gonna go get some coffee and just hang out today. I'm currently reading Manacled on my Kindle. It's a Harry Potter fan fiction and I'm so excited to be reading it, but it's the end of the month that I want to get another book in and Manacled is literally a thousand plus pages, it's right? It's so long. It's literally so long. I'm so excited to read it, but I definitely can't finish it in a week. So I have been eyeing this book, ready or not. People love it. What are you giggling at? <laughs> because it just reminds me of me. Besides yeah, the, the back, the back the pregnancy says, part. <laughs> Eve lives for surprises. Just kidding. She expects every tomorrow to be pretty much the same as today. I was reading the back and I was like, this actually sounds like Heather. That's me. So this is what I got. Wait, I have to show my glizzy. Humdrum paper. They make the cutest bookmarks, but this is a bookmark that I picked out. I got a Tempest of Tea. I know nothing about this, but a lot of people have been recommending me this recently. It's a Y, is it YA? I think it is YA. YA fantasy. And there's vampires in it, which we just found out. Why save the world when you can have tea? That's what it says. It's literally so cute. I'm interested. You should make also, tea. Also, it's gorgeous, like the inside of it. It really is it. so pretty. Light blue. So. I didn't look at that. Oh, that's pretty too. just finished the movie and it was so bad. It was so good. <laughs> five out of five stars. Like, um, first of all, it, it had to have been like three hours. That Was, was that the, not so long? That was the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. It also took so long. It was like fine until like probably like th halfway through and then the ending was just ass. It was, it was, it was insane. Should we read the book? <laughs> It's a few days, not a few days later, I got home very late last night, but it's been a day or so since I vlogged. I really only just vlogged one day with Heather. I didn't have a lot of time with her and I really just wanted to hang out, see her new house, see her town and just, you know, catch up. We read a little bit. I started this in Texas. 
and then I'm home now. I, this is my only day off, and then for the whole month of March, I am on call, which I call reserve. It's my reserve month. I am on call three times a year at my seniority and for my airline. So I have three months of a schedule, and then I have one month where I'm on call, I'm on reserve. And so March is my month on call. I only know my days off and I know my days on call. So I have no idea what the month is gonna entail for me. So today is just my kind of like, let's get back into the swing of things day. I started a load of laundry. Joseph and I are about to go get some groceries and some pre-made meals for me. And yeah, that's, that's gonna be my day today. And for the end of this video, we're just gonna be getting my life back in order. Maybe I will get called tomorrow and we'll go somewhere fun, or if not, I'll just end this video after I have my get my life back in order day. I'm so nervous. I got a leather jacket last year from my friend Bridget, who has this really cute vintage company called Augusta Vintage. The one that she gave me from her vintage store was black, and it was so cute, but I don't wear a lot of black, so I was really hoping for a brown one. And I, if you don't know, I am literally an eBay addict. Like so much of, pretty much like 85% of my closet is eBay. And so I am always on there getting myself into trouble. And so I am always looking for leather jackets on there. They're really expensive. But I sent this guy, I found this one, it was like $100. And I was like, ooh, do I need to spend $100 on a leather jacket? I sent him a $70 offer and he came back with, I think 75 and I was like, we gotta do it. So this is my first time seeing it. I'm really nervous because you just really never know with eBay. <gasps> Wait. Wait, it's so cute. It's literally perfect. Look at this. It couldn't oh, be more perfect. Perfect. I love that. That's one you got on your bag? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Is it brown or black? Brown. Sick. I bet I can wear this. Looks Everything like I get, he wears. This is my pullover. It's my t-shirt too, ain't it? Maybe. 